are done. You are. Ali. Ali. يقاتل المسلمون اليهود فيقتلهم المسلمون فيختبئ اليهود وراء الحجر والشجر فينادي الحجر والشجر قائلا يا مسلم يا عبد الله هذا يهودي خلفي تعالى فاقتل إلا الغرقد فإنه من شجر اليهود And you have no idea how much I hope Allah is going to curse you to the rest of your life You are so you saw what happened guys YouTube decided to take us down YouTube does not want us to teach Satan in the shape of YouTube took down my live stream guys is my sound again <laughs> okay is my sound now okay <laughs> Someone is saying, my screen just got wet. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's when you have a spitting cobra <laughs> like Mimi Hijab. I mean, what can we do? That's the true face of Islam, right? That's Islam in reality. <laughs> and we're going to continue in part two. So we had to do a part two of this live show. I mean, Satan does not want us to tell the truth, the real truth about the real face of Islam. Satan does not want us to remove the niqab from the true Islam, the true face of Islam. A spitting cobra, that's the new nickname of Mimi Hijab. Right? Lovely, lovely Muslims, the true face of Muslims. So we were talking about the black slaves in Islam and slavery in Islam. And I asked if there is any slave, uh, I mean any black Muslim with us. Guys, please spread the word that we are back again, that we are back life again. I lost more than half of my viewers <laughs> when YouTube decided to uh, take us down we had more than 200 people watching but slowly the number is growing again you know it is what it is so share 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 welcome back god bless yeah we are back live people satan cannot take us down we will come back maybe you will you will knock us down but we are strong enough because we have the truth we have the truth. We have Jesus who is the truth. Who is Al-Haq. The truth. And you can try to knock us down, but we will stand up strong on our feet again. Boy! <laughs> so guys, do we have any black Muslim? Give me one if you're a black Muslim. Ya Magdu'een. It's... It's who is the one who is getting deceived? You are being deceived, man. You are in denial. You are in denial that your prophet was a slave owner. He was a seller of black slaves. He used to buy slaves. He used to sell slaves. Deal with it. You're nothing but a Muslim who is brainwashed. And you are in denial because you're even denying you are denying, you're in denial about your own hadith. This is Sahih hadith, my friend. Sunan ibn Majah. Let me go to another hadith. Let me go to Sahih Muslim. Sahih, Sahih, Sahih Muslim. Hadith number 1602. Let me give you the link. Bookmark it, save it, guys. Please tell your friends that we are back again. Jabber, Allah be pleased with him, reported, There came a slave and pledged alliance to Allah's apostle. So he became a Muslim. A slave became a Muslim. On migration, he... There's nothing called Holy Prophet. Remember guys? This is Taqiyah 101. There's nothing called Holy Prophet in Islam. Muqaddas, 
Muqaddas is only used by Christians and Jews. So, you know, when they put holy in the hadith, between brackets, as you see, they are lying. It's taqiyya 101. Deception 101. There is nothing called holy in Islam. There is nothing called holy Quran. There is nothing called holy prophet. It's the unholy prophet. It's the unholy Quran. That's what it is. The unholy. Because if there is nothing called muqaddas in Islam, that means you are following and you are a worshipper of an unholy Allah. You are a follower of an unholy prophet. So let us continue. So Muhammad did not know that he was a slave. So this guy was a slave and Muhammad did not know that he was a slave. Then there came his master and demanded him back. So the owner of the slave wanted the slave back. Whereupon Muhammad, Allah is praying on him, the unholy Allah, is praying on the unholy prophet said so Muhammad said sell him to me what sell the slave to me and he bought him for two what two for for two what black slave so you see Muhammad owned black slaves Muhammad is an owner of black slaves do we have any black Muslim, I mean slave. Do we have any black Muslim who is proud about following a owner, an owner of black slaves, i.e. Muhammad? Bam! Deal with it, black Muslims. Your prophet was an owner of black slaves. He used to sell black slaves. Bam! Do we have any black Muslim? Do you dare to call me? If you are truly sincere, I invite you to call me live on my Skype ID. My Skype, my Skype ID is the Rob Christian. The Rob Christian. If you are a sincere Muslim, call me. We are live. Call me on my live show. This is my Skype ID. Bam! Own it. Deal with it. Don't forget to digest it if you swallow it. Ya Rob, kif halak? I'm good, my friend. But you're a coward. You will not call me. It's thank you for asking how I'm. I'm good. I'm good. I hope you're okay too, my friend. I hope you're okay too after the true face of your prophet the true face of your selling of black slaves prophet the owner of black slaves prophet the self-proclaimed prophet you want uh, you want to know uh, about my show us your face rob christian so show us your face you're finished Right, Muslims? Rob, you're finished. I'm finished? Why am I finished, man? Nothing, boy! You're finished already. Look at me. Look at me. You know you're done. You are. Ali. Ali. I cannot stop playing that, man. So funny. It's so funny, but so. Filthy. That's what it is. You Muslims are filthy. Especially those Muslims like Mimi Hijab. I'm not talking about all the Muslims, by the way. Forgive me. If there are sincere Muslims, you will n not accept this kind of behavior. 
right? No normal human would accept such behavior. The Egyptian spitting cobra hijab, yeah. And Christian Prince in that debate, he removed the hijab and he put the niqab on Mimi hijab. He removed the hijab and he put the niqab on Mimi hijab. Spitting cobra, yeah. The spitting cobra has nothing on Mimi hijab. Do we have any Muslim who has the courage and the knowledge to call us for the people who just joined in? Guys, YouTube, I mean Satan, took our live show down, our live stream down. So this is part two. You cannot hold us back. When you try to knock us down, we will be back on our feet. We are not to be silent. So welcome back to part two of today's live stream. YouTube, for some reason, took our live stream down. So this is part two. So we will continue. Do you have any black Muslim? Come on, man. Do you have any Muslim who might try to refute us that Muhammad was a owner of slaves? He was a seller of slaves and he used to trade black slaves any abdul no abdul anyway let us continue if we go to to the mufassir al-qurtubi he said and i quote women are like cows and horses and camels for all are ridden <laughs> right uh, muslims women are like cows and horses and camels so you're comparing muslim women you are comparing muslim women with cows horses and camels because they are all to be ridden including the muslim women you, you remember Mimi Hijab, guys, you remember what Mimi Hijab said in that live show? Sorry, in that live debate with Christian Prince. You, you are insulting women. You, Christian Prince, you dare to insult Muslim women. Look at your Muwab Mufassirin. You look at your scholars, man. They are calling Muslim women cows, horses, and camels. I mean, what's left? What is left? And you dare to speak against Christian Prince? Mr. Mimi Hijab, you dare to speak against Christian Prince? You munafiq, you hypocrite, you boy! Your scholars know more about Islam than you. This is the Al-Qurtubi who said that in his tafsir. So you Muslim women, you Muslim women, I know a lot of Muslim women who are actually very beautiful like these. Look how beautiful this lady is, man. You are nothing but victims of this man-made cult. You are compared, you are compared to animals. You are an animal in Islam. These are, this is not my words, Muslims. You Muslim women, if you're watching, this is not my word. This is not me speaking. This is one of the highest scholars in Islam. This is a Mufassir of the Quran who says, and I quote, quote unquote, women in Islam are like cows, horses, and camels for all are ridden. Woo! Uh, you know, you know what ridden means, right? Nasty. You know, sexual intercourse. Women are only good for effing, right Muslims? So you Muslim ladies, if you care about yourself, if you care about the truth, if you are sincere with yourself, if you respect yourself, Muslim ladies, I'm talking to you, leave this man-made cult who are calling you animals. You are not even a human. You Muslim ladies, you are not even a human in Islam. What a shame. 
Are you proud to be a Muslim when you are compared with animals? Don't, don't call me on my Skype. Call me on my Skype. Debate me on my Skype. My Skype is open. The Rob Christian. That's my Skype ID. Talk in text is cheap, Abdul. Call me. My Skype is open, guys. Look. You see it? I made my thing invisible, but you can still call me, right? I'm doing this so that people not, will not uh, see that I'm live, you know, because I have a lot of people and sometimes they call me and, uh, you know. Do we have any Muslim? Uh, he's a troll, I know, I know, I know. But we're showing everybody what kind of cowards these people are who sits in the chat, Muslims sitting in the chat, don't have the courage, they are nothing but kids, and they will never ever dare to call us. Right, uh, I mean, uh, right Farid? Kids, we have to deal with kids. If you go to Sahih al-Bukhari, guys, it says, narrated Abu Sa'id al-Qudri, Sa'id al-Qudri, the Prophet said, this is Sahih, Sahih al-Bukhari, Bukhari, Bukhari, it says, the Prophet said, isn't the witness of a woman equal to half of that a man? The woman said, yes, he said, this is because of the deficiency of a woman's mind. So you are not even a complete person, Muslimas. You Muslim ladies are not even a complete person. You are equal with animals and, you are, and the reason for that is because you are half human. You are a half human. This is why you are compared, you are equal to cows. You are cows, Muslim women in Islam. You are horses and you are camels. Because you get ridden like those animals. You're only good for sex. You're only good to be put seeds in you. You are a Baby factory, that's what you are. That's the only th good thing about you. There's no love for you in Islam. You're only good to produce babies for the Muslim man. Where is the love for Muslims, ladies? Where is the love for Muslims in Islam? Muslims are only good and only good for one thing, to produce children, so they, those children will become mujahidun or muj mujahideen, right? So they will become jihadi soldiers, ISIS boys. That's what women are for in Islam. You are baby factories. That's what you are. You see it? And the proof is in front of you. This is Sahih al-Bukhari. Right? What did Muhammad actually say? What did Muhammad say about women? Women, what? Women are equal with dogs. Women, dogs, and donkeys. So women, dogs, and donkeys are on the same level in Islam. Can annul, that means abolish or stop a man's prayer. Do you see it? This is from Musnad Ahmad or Musnad ibn Hanbal. Sorry, Musnad ibn Hanbal, volume 2, page 2992. You see it? This is the prophet of Islam speaking. Yes, sorry, Georgina. Oh, sorry, Georgia. Georgia Henderson. God bless you, sister. Thank you. But we have to talk about these subjects. Because this is the true face of Islam, right? That's the topic of today. Unfortunately, that's the topic of today. Right? We showed you how Muhammad was a owner of black slaves. And this is the topic of today. Islam in reality, the true face of Islam. Right? So Muslim ladies, wake up. Leave this man-made cult that is comparing you with animals. You're an animal in Islam. Are you not ashamed 
to be called an animal by your prophet, by your mufassirun. Yeah, this is important stuff, I know, I know. Because Muslim scholars will not dare to talk about these topics. Wake up Muslims. Women, if you care about your dignity, if you care about your honor, stay away from Islam. Denounce Muhammad. Leave this man-made cult. Because you are an animal in Islam. Look how beautiful this woman is, man. Why are, why are you accepting this about you? You're a victim of this man-made cult. Give me your Skype. I'm, Abdul, we are spamming my Skype ID all the time. And you are still asking for my Skype ID. Sit down, boy. You're a boy. You're a boy. Sit down, boy. It really makes me sick to see what is being said about Muslim women in Islam. How they are being compared with dogs, with donkeys, with cows, with pigs. Uh, the scammers, seven, uh, bro, my audience are uh, Christian English speaking people. I know, you know, ma aghdar ya akhi, ma aghdar. Al akhwan hon kila ingliziyin yihko bas inglizi. Yitkallamu bas inglizi. So we have to do this in English, okay? We have to do this in English. Yalla ya akhwan al muslimin, wainkom. Where are you? Why are you hiding? Yalla ya akhi, call me. We are live. My Skype ID is the Rob Christian. Can you try to refute me? Shukran Habibi, the scammer seven. Shukran. Salam al Masih, la ilaka ya Habibi. Salam al Masih. Peace of Christ to you. That's what we Arabic speaking Christians say to one another. Salam al Masih. Peace of Christ. So the peace, guys comes from Jesus. It does not come from Islam. Islam is not peace, as they claim. It's not peace. Salam al-Masih Azizi. Salam wa ni'ma ilak. Peace and grace of Jesus Christ. Guys, what about the incest? I know this is a disgusting topic, guys. If you have any children watching, hide them. Hide your Children, speaking from Kif, Hira, Hira. If you have children watching, close their ears, send them away. Let me drink something because this is really. <clears throat> Let me take a small break, guys, because. <clears throat> Man. This is going to be disgusting, guys. This is going to be disgusting. This is Islam. What can we do? Islam is disgusting, guys. Drink something, guys. Drink, make sure to drink something. Because it's going to be a heavy topic. Heavy topic. Haters. Wink fish. Wink fish. If you call yourself a true Muslim, call me. My Skype ID is the Rob Christian. Look, my Skype is open. Call me. Do you have any Muslim? Before we start this topic, do you have any Muslim who thinks he is a man? Call me. I'm live. We are not hiding. We are giving you the opportunity to silence us. Mimi Hijab, and I quote, Silence me. Silence me. Well, you, come on. Where are Mimi Hijab? Come on. Let's try your luck out with me. I know you tried your luck out with Christian Prince and he spanked you. You forgot to say Inshallah. Right, Mimi Hijab? You forgot to say Inshallah. 
Do you have any Muslim? No Muslim. They know because this topic is a fact in Islam. They know they will not call me on this topic because they will get. They are going to get spanked left and right on this topic. Yes, incest in Islam is halal. What? What did you say, Rob Christian? Rob Christian, I did not hear you. Incest in Islam is halal. Come again? Incest, sex with your own daughter in Islam is halal. Halal, akhi. Brother? Yes, brother. Zakir Naik. Brother? Yes, brother. S sex with your own daughter is halal, brother. Brother? Yes, brother. Yes, brother. Yes. So, guys, I know this is a heavy topic. So, if you, you know, have a bad stomach, I advise you to leave. <clears throat> brother? Yes, brother. Let's, uh, let us talk about the incest of, you know, the incest in Islam. <clears throat> Guys, you see here an Egyptian Sheikh, Fadilat al Sheikh, a honorable, respectful PhD Sheikh from Egypt. He studied in Al Azhar. So he has a PhD, he is a scholar, and he studied in the number one university of the Islamic world in Egypt, Cairo, and he is a as you see, a Sunni PhD Sheikh. You see the big beard? Right? This is an Egyptian PhD Sheikh. Ya Fadilat the Sheikh. Ya Sheikh. Ya Sheikh. So look what he says. Quote unquote. Have sex with illegitimate daughters, says the Egyptian cleric. The Egyptian Sheikh. Fadilat the Sheikh. Ya Fadilat the Sheikh. According to this Sheikh logic, there is an interpretation of Al Shafi'i's work saying, if a man, guys, if a man, I hope you are with me, I hope you are focused with me, if a man impregnates a woman, he impregnates a woman who is not his wife, so if that woman is not his wife, not his legitimate wife so he's committing basically fornication adultery right and that woman becomes a pregnant woman she becomes pregnant the child guys the child that is conceived out of legal marriage in islam that child is not technically his what? Yes. She's not your daughter. <laughs> I mean, come on, man. Really, dude? Dude, really? She's not your daughter, but she's your daughter? What? You see, guys? You know why he's saying this, guys? You know why this sheikh is saying that? Any idea why? Anyone in the chat? Anyone? Think with me here. Why is the sheikh, this Egyptian PhD Sheikh is saying that. Why? Why do you? Th why is that? Why does he say if you have sex with a woman, she's not your legal wife, according to Sharia law, and when you, that woman becomes pregnant, the child out of this sexual intercourse, when she is born, she's not going to be your daughter or son. She's technically. Not your daughter, according to Islam. Why do you think he said it? Guys, let me play the video of the Sheikh. Yes, I have a video of the Sheikh. It's unfortunately, it's not, an, uh, it's not translated. Maybe, guys, uh, we have some Arabic speaking Christians, right? I noticed, uh, let me scroll back. Uh, t -t -t what was what was your name? Sorry, my friend. The Arabic speaker. What was your name again? The scammers point seven. You are with me, my friend. The scammer 
Scammers.7, you're with me. Can you give me one? Do you have more Arabic speaking people in the chat? Give me one if you are with me. Do you have any Arab speaking? Hello. Okay, so Wingfish knows Arabic. Okay, the scammers is with me. So we have at least two Arabic speaking people. Two. Guys, we have two people. It knows Arabic too. Great, great. Let's see what the Sheikh is going to say. And I hope you Arabic speaking people in the chat, you're going to confirm and try to translate what this guy says. I'm going to try to translate too. Let me play the video for you guys. <clears throat> Pay attention. I'm going to play the video. And during the playing of the video, I'm going to try to translate now and then. <laughs> He said, according to Shafi'i, according to the Shafi'i, according to a Muslim, basically one of the schools, right? One of the schools in Islam, Sunni schools of Islam, Shafi'i. He was a scholar, right? He's an imam or scholar, call him whatever you want. It's okay to have, you know, it's okay to marry. There's nothing called marriage. Nikah. Nikah means effing. Sex. It's okay to have sex with your own daughter. If that daughter, as we said, is conceived out of legal Sharia marriage. Right? So you, it's okay to have sex with your own daughter. Incest. Let me continue. Guys. He says, according to a Shafi'i, according to the Shafi'i, the sperm, the sperm, basically, ma zina, the sperm, or the juice, <laughs> Lord have mercy, this is nasty, man. The water, the water of zina, fornication, adultery, fornication, is, what did he say? Let me go back. It doesn't make it uh, haram. <laughs> Look at this. This is really, this is disgusting. Man. You, you know, Islam, guys, is truly against humanity. Islam is against humanity. This is a PhD sheikh speaking, man. What? This is a PhD sheikh speaking. This is an Egyptian sheikh, a doctor. It's okay to do incest with your own daughter. Bam! Uh, the Arabic speaking people in the chat, can you confirm what he just said? Scammer7, you're an Arabic speaking Christian. Can you confirm what he just said? Ma'azina la yuharram. Right? Yeah, did, it doesn't stop the marriage. Marrying nikah, sex with your own daughter. That's what he's saying. La wahid zana bim ra'a wa hamalit minu, you like in other ma gir muharram. So when you commit fornication, says the Abdul here, this, this potato Abdul here, if you commit fornication with a woman that is not your wife, she's not your legal Sharia wife, right? Legal wife in Islam, it's not haram to have sex with her seed. Who is her seed? Her child. So you can have sex with your own daughter because your, that daughter is technically not your daughter. Oh man, oh man. Oh man. This is incest 101 in Islam. 
يعني دي مش بنته يعني يعني ايه مش محرم that means uh, he's saying what do you mean what do you mean it's uh, it's not uh, haram because she's not your, his daughter that's what he said let me go back يعني ايه برضه مش فاهم يا عم الشيخ يعني هل يجوز له نكاحها قال لك اي اتجوزها عادي دي بيت يجوز له نكاحها يعني ايه برضه مش فاهم يا عم الشيخ يعني ايه غير محرم يعني دي مش بنته يعني ان هذا الماء غير محرم يعني ايه غير محرم يعني دي مش بنته شي از نوت هيز دوتر شي از ليجلي شي از نوت هيز دوتر سو شي كان هي كان هاف سكس وذ هيز اون دوتر يعني ايه برضه مش فاهم يا عم الشيخ يعني هل يجوز له نكاحها قال لك اي اتجوزها عادي دي بنته قال لك مين اللي قال بنته هي لا شي بس شي از هيز دوتر شي از هيز دوتر هو تولد يو ذا شي از هيز دوتر هو تولد يو شي از هيز دوتر Who told you, says the Sheikh, that she is his, his daughter? You don't understand Arabic. Yeah, come teach me. Call me and teach me Arabic. Yalla, yalla. Yalla, ya Muslim. Yalla, ya, ya Akhi. Yalla, ya Akhwan. Call me. Refute me. You filthy liar. Like your prophet. Guys, this guy here, this guy, this wing fish, his taqiyya is weak. Abdul, your taqiyya is weak. You, you are weak like your taqiyya. لا بنت لا شرعا ولا شيء ما مش بنت شي از نوت هيز دوتر شي از نوت هيز دوتر شو سو هي كان اف هير سو انسست از اوكي شبه له اصلا ولما واحد يزني بواحده ويخلف منها بنت تكتب باسمه باسم الزاني لا ابدا سو اكوردنج تو ذا شيخ جايز اكوردنج تو وات هي سيز جايز اكوردنج تو وات هي سيز اف ذا مان جايز فوكس ويز مي تو وات هي سيينج He's saying, if the man commits fornication with a woman that is not his wife, and he gets a daughter, he, the man, cannot go and say to anyone or write it down, basically, in a contract that this child is his daughter. She is not considered to be his daughter. You cannot register her as Your daughter. She is not your daughter. That's what he's saying. Can you believe this? Hello? What happened, man? What happened, man? Let me call him back. I think uh, he forgot to do a dua. And he did forget to say inshallah, that's why he did not succeed calling me. Let me call him back. This is the guy, not Christian Prince. I don't know who is he is. I hope he's a Muslim. Pick up, man, pick up. What happened, man? Ask Allah to help you, man. Say inshallah, man. The person whom you're trying to reach is currently unavailable. Oh. Well, that's sad. That's sad. He wanted to interrupt me. You see, you see the kids? You see these Satan worshippers? You see these Satan worshippers? They don't like me to expose their cult. Satan does not like, I mean, i.e. Allah. Allah does not like that I'm exposing his cult. He wants to silence me. You see? What did the Sheikh say? Let me go back. يعني إيه برضو مش فاهم يا عم الشيخ. يعني هل يجوز له نكاحها؟ قال لك أي جوزها عاد. So it's okay to have sex with her? Yes, it's okay. It's okay. She's not your daughter. She's not your daughter. And the girl is not my, what, what did what did uh, Michael Jackson sing in uh, Billie Jean? Billie Jean is not my okay. I, f I forgot the words, but I think he's talking about his girl, right? Anyway. Di bintu. Di bintu. She's his daughter. Who told you she is his, his daughter? But she is his daughter. Who told you she is his daughter? She's not his daughter. He cannot. 
register her as his daughter. Says the Sheikh. I mean, this is him. I'm not. This is. These are not my words, man. I'm just. I'm just a messenger. Don't shoot the messenger, man. Man. She's according to Sharia law, not his daughter and nothing. She's nothing. She's not his daughter. She's a stranger. But the kid is not my son. Yeah. Okay. That's what Michael Jackson was singing. Yeah. Can he uh, call her his daughter? No. Certainly not. The Sheikh says, certainly not. <laughs> She's not his daughter. Did you catch it? Adi, Adi. He can F her. He can marry her and F her. Nikah. He can do Nikah with her. Look at this evil dog, man. This is a human being, guys. This guy, is he a human being? You can have sex with your own daughter. Muslims, you can have sex with your own daughter. Alhamdulillah for Islam. Thank you Allah for this evil, satanic, incest, death cult. Shame on you Muslims for following such filthy man-made cult. This is a cult. He's an animal. Yes, that's what he is. He's an animal. Rob Christian, why are you so, so... Remember what that lady said? Rob Christian, be, go easy on the Muslims. Take it easy. Change your style. You want me to change my style with these nasty people, man? These animals, man. Animals. That's what you are. This demon. You filthy people, man. Shame on you, man. Calling yourself a human being. Shame on you. Guys, if you like our live shows, if you want to support us, please don't forget to subscribe. Smash that like button. And don't forget to click on the notification bell. That's very, very important, guys, these days to click on the notification bell. Because as you see, YouTube is trying to take us down. This is why we needed to do a part two. Because I did not finish my topic, guys. I did not finish my topic today. So incest is okay. It's okay, man. Well, it's okay, man. That's Islam, man. Thank you for the donations. God bless you guys. God bless your families. Thank you for your support through donations. So, uh, so what? He says, so what? Iyani, so what? I love the Egyptian uh, dialect, by the way. This is a PhD Al Azhari Sheikh talking. Maybe even the Muslims who just joined. Let me let me play this again, and then we will continue to the next topic. <laughs> She's not his daughter. It's not uh, haram to F your own daughter because she is technically not your daughter. Yeah, it's okay, man. It's normal. It's normal. Have, have sex with her, man. No problem. She's his daughter. So what? She's his daughter, man. She's not. According to Sharia law, she's not his daughter. So if, if, if the child, let me, let me translate again. If the child, if this daughter, this daughter, she is conceived out of legal Sharia marriage, she is technically not his daughter. She's not his daughter. She's Mishbintu. Mishbintu. She's not his daughter. Yes, I am an Arab. I am an Arab who is destroying the, this Arab cult. That's what I am. I am destroying this nasty, evil, incest cult. That's what it is.
Did you, you hear the sheikh, right, guys? You heard the sheikh speaking. This is hard to swallow. Yeah, I know, guys. This is hard to swallow. But this is Islam 101. This is the true face of Islam, guys. I really need to drink something, man. This, you know, I'm so disgusted, man. I'm so disgusted. I'm disgusted of this man-made cult. This is why I'm doing this. This is why I'm exposing this cult. Give me a, a small break, guys. Well, just one minute. Disgusting, man. Disgusting, man. This is disgusting man-made cult. Right here. This guy, yeah, let, let them insult us, guys. You know, when he insults me, I get blessings, remember? According to Jesus, if you insult me, because you cannot handle the truth, boy. When you are insulting me, you are actually blessing me, according to my Lord and Savior. So, you know, keep sending me the blessings, man. Uh, we already uh, did that, the green nature. We already did that. You know, it's enough to give these boys credit. This boy, maybe when he finally grows to be a real man, when he has a big beard like his shiuch, maybe then he will one day call me. This Amin, this comeback, who is a follower of an incest cult. Right? I'm really disgusted, man. Thank you, Paco the Knight. Shukran, Habibi, shukran. Thank you very much. Salam wa na'ma, salam al-Masih. Salam al-Masih, peace of Christ to all of you. May the peace of Christ open the eyes of all the Muslims who are followers of this sex cult, this incest cult. Please God, please open the eyes of these poor victims who are followers of an incest cult. That's what they are. Please Muslims, if you are sincere with yourselves, please drop Muhammad, drop Islam. Who is allowing you to have incest, sex with your own daughter. Please come back home to Jesus. It's 2020, almost. Almost 2020. Why are you still Muslims? Why are you followers of this evil sex cult? Thank you, this Commerce 7. God bless you, bro. Habibi. Habibi, shukran. Thank you. Guys, you don't need me. Again, guys, you do not need me. I am replaceable. We all need Jesus. I am just a messenger of the truth. That's what I am. I am replaceable. You don't need me. You don't need Christian Prince. You don't need Sam Shamoon. You don't need David Wood. But if it's the plan of Jesus to teach and expose this cult, this evil, nasty, satanic cult, then so be it. So keep cursing us, Muslims, keep cursing us, because you are showing your true face, right? That's the topic of today. Right? That's the topic of today. That's the topic of today. Show us your real face, Muslims. Show us the real face of Islam. Keep cursing us, Abdul. Keep cursing us. It's okay. For the people who just joined. For the people who just joined. Small break. Small break, guys.
عليك عليك لا تقوم الساعة حتى يقاتل المسلمون اليهود فيقتلهم المسلمون فيختبئ اليهود وراء الحجر والشجر فينادي الحجر والشجر قائلا يا مسلم يا عبد الله هذا يهودي خلفي تعالى فاقتل إلا الغرقد فإنه من شجر اليهود and you have no idea how much I hope Allah is going to curse you to the rest of your life. You are Well, thank you for, for that, uh, Mimi Hijab and your minions. Thank you for that. Really, thank you for your spitting. Uh, you know, the spitting cobra has nothing on you, Mr. Mimi Hijab. Guys, thank you for your donations. God bless you. Wow, amazing. Thank you, ENVT. God bless you. God bless your families. Thank you so much. Thank you for your support. Any Muslim? Do we have any Muslim? Huh? Do we have any Muslim? Who thinks? Who, who, who thinks, who thinks that he can refute me? My Skype is open. Call me, Abdul. Call me. <clears throat> if we have Christians, if we have any Christian guys who wants to call, because the Muslims, it seems that the Muslims cannot handle the truth, I will allow Christians to call me. So my line, my line is open for our Christian brothers and sisters. Call me. If you like. Maybe you want to share something with us. You can call me. Thank you, John Dolan. God bless you, my friend. God bless your family. If there's a Christian who wants to call me, you can call now. Yeah, uh, Hafza, I know. I rather talk with a Muslim, but you know, so now and then, because co Muslims are cowards, as you see, they cannot handle the truth, so they stay silent in their corners, in the bushes. So, you know, instead, we will allow our friends, our Christian brothers and sisters in Christ, to call too. Maybe you want to share something. Maybe you want to share your view about this man-made cult, this sick cult. Okay. We have a Muslim maybe? I'm not sure if he's a Muslim. Ah Ahmed Rafi, okay. Hello? They can't handle the truth. You can't handle the truth. Really? <laughs> really? Ah, Mr. Ultimate Shirk. Get lost, Abdul. <laughs> you cannot handle the truth. You know, guys, this kid, why, I, why am I not allowing him? Why am I not allowing him to speak to me? For the people who do not know this guy, this ultimate shirt guy, he calls himself the ultimate truth. Al-Haq. He, so he takes one of the 99 names of Allah and he calls, him, he calls himself the ultimate Haq, right? The ultimate truth. So he's doing shirk with Allah, he's associating himself with Allah. That's number one. Number two, I don't like to spank the same kid over and over. Number three, point number three, he's a fake Muslim. He's not a Sunni Muslim. He is a Rashad Khalifa boy. He's a follower of Rashad Khalifa. Rashad Khalifa for the people who never heard of Rashad Khalifa. Rashad Khalifa was stabbed to death in the 90s. Yes, he was stabbed to death in the 90s by Sunni Muslims. Let me show it on the screen. He is a follower of this guy, guys. You see it? This guy here. This guy made a new cult, right? He made a new cult in the 90s. He was a reformer 
of his time. So he wanted to change Islam. Now, is it allowed in Islam? Is it halal to reform Islam? To change Islam? Or is that bid'ah? Is bid'ah haram or halal? It's haram. So you cannot innovate Islam. So what happened? Muslim Sunnis, they visited him, they paid him a visit, and they stabbed this guy to death. So this ultimate shirk who always stalking me, he's a follower of a fake Muslim like him. So Mr. Ultimate Shirk, you're, a, you're, an, you're not even a real Muslim. And you keep calling us and you keep get spanked. So I, not, I want a real Muslim to call me. I don't have time for kids. So this Rashad Khalifa guys, he believed that he is one of the messengers of Allah. Do you see it? He's not, he, he does not call himself a prophet, but he claims to be the messenger of Allah. But wait, a Rasul, guys, a Rasul is even higher than a prophet in Islam. Can you imagine? A Rasul, guys, a messenger, is on a higher level than a prophet in Islam. Kid you not. And so, <laughs> the same Jibreel, guys, this Rashad Khalifa claims that, that Jibreel, alayhi salam, Jibreel, peace be upon him, he told him, so Jibreel told him, who? Rashad Khalifa, that chapters 36, verse 3 of the Quran is specifically referring to who? To Rashad Khalifa. <laughs> so he claims that he's in the Quran, guys. This is why Muslims stopped, stabbed him to death. So they killed him. Do you see it? They killed him in the 90s. He was found death on January 31st. He was found stabbed to death inside the masjid. So they even killed him in the masjid, guys. With a knife. Bam, bam, bam in his heart. So this ultimate shirk is a follower of a fake Muslim, this guy who claims to be mentioned in the Quran. So you want to talk me, talk you know, you want me to talk to fake Muslims and waste my time? No, it's enough. And we already spanked him in earlier live shows. So enough, you know, it's enough. Enough is enough, guys. Do you have any real Muslim? Not a Rashad a Khalifa boy, but a real Muslim. Where's Ibn Ajuran? You told me, Ibn Jura, you sent me this message. You have two months, Rob Christian. I mean, the two months are over. Where are you, man? I'm still alive, man. Or else. Aslim fataslim. Or else. It's a joke. Guys, Muhammad was a joker when he sent the letter to the Romans. Aslim fataslim. I think Muhammad was joking. Uh, why two months? I don't know. You tell me. I, I, I don't know, man. Why are you asking me, man? <laughs> Guys, in the meantime, in the meantime, in the meantime, we will uh, enjoy our coffee and wait when these people grow a big beard Maybe they will send me some flowers in two months. You know, two months already over. I didn't receive anything, man. What's wrong with you Muslims? <clears throat> Any Muslim? Yeah, Andrew Martin, do you see? Chapter 36, Ayah 3, according to Rashad Khalifa, it's about him. <laughs> so it seems that Muhammad was not the last messenger. After all, it was Rashad Khalifa. <laughs> right, uh, ultimate uh, shirk, right? <laughs> Do you have any Muslim? Do we have any Muslim? Do we have any Muslim, guys? Who has the courage and the knowledge to call me? Our Skype is open. Don't send me Rashad Khalifa boys, fake Muslims. Send me the real Muslims. 
I know you Imams, you Ustaz, you keep hiding in the bushes and you keep sending me kids, you keep sending me fake Muslims. Why are you not calling me? Yalla ya akhwan, where are you? Why are you hiding ya akhwan? Cowards, man. Are there any questions? Guys, if there's a Christian, if there's a Christian who wants to share something with me, you want to call me? Scammer7, you want to call me, my friend? Our brother in Christ. You want to call me or someone else wants to call me? If you're a Christian, you want to share something with us? You want to give your view about how Muslim women are victim or the incest of Islam? Incest with your own daughter that is halal. You can call me. We are, allow we are allowing Christians to call us live. Maybe you want to call us and pray with me. If you are a Muslim, if you are a Muslim who finally sees the true Islam for what it is, and you want to pray with me and accept our Lord and Savior, you can do it right here, right now. Don't fear the ones who might hurt you, Muslims. If you are sincere and you know that Muhammad is a fake prophet, you know it, I know you know it, but maybe you are still in denial. Maybe you want to pray with me or you want to talk to me. Don't be afraid of the ones. Don't be afraid of the ones who might kill you. Be afraid of the ones who might kill your soul. That's of who you should be afraid. And Muhammad and Satan his master, Allah, his master, Allah, Satan. Be afraid of those who might hurt your soul. Don't be afraid of the people who might destroy your flesh. I have respect for who? For Muhammad. Should I respect Muhammad Wingfish? Should we respect a teacher of hate, of incest? of cursing, of calling women animals. Muslim women are animals. Huh? Muslim women are animals, according to Muhammad. Do you, do, you, do you actually accept that about you, Muslim ladies? Do you accept that, that you are compared with dogs and donkeys? Do you accept it? that you are compared with cows, horses, and camels, because you are an animal to be ridden, according to Mufassir al-Qurtubi. I know, right, Evelyn? I know, sister, I know. It's disgusting. It's filthy. That's what Islam is. And today, guys, today, we prove to you the true face of Islam. Islam in reality. Enough said. Guys, if we have no callers, it seems that we are out of Muslims. We are out of real Muslim men. We are left only with kids, cowards. That means Islam is dying. Islam is dying, guys. Islam is dying. There are no real men who can defend this religion, man. Bankrupt, man. Muslims are bankrupt. They know they can't defend their filthy cult, disgusting cult. They know. Guys, we are only left with disgusting people like this.
We are only left with kids like this, man. Look. Nothing, boy. You're finished already. Look at me. Look at me. You know you're done. You are. Ali. Ali. And you have no idea how much I hope Allah is going to curse you to the rest of your life. You are Ali. <laughs> Lord have mercy. These are your heroes, Muslims. These are your heroes. You, your imams are only sending us kids. Where, where is the sheikh, man? This proud sheikh who is teaching about incest. As you see guys, when Islam is only being run by kids, that means Islam is bankrupt. If that's the best what they can offer, kids like Mimi Hijab and Ali Dawa, that means truly Islam is bankrupt. Truly. Uh, Alpha Omega bro, you are saying in the chat, Rob Christian, why don't you debate Ultimate Shirk on Rashad Khalifa? I've been watching his videos, something truthful about him and their Miracle 19. Uh, Alpha Omega, why do you want me to debate a fake Muslim, man? What's the point? I want the real Muslims to call me, man. And we already debated him many times. I don't like to co talk to the same kid over and over. We want fresh meat, man. Come on. We want real fresh meat, real fresh Muslims. What for? Why, why should I waste my time with a fake Muslim, man? Who will be stabbed to death if ultimate shirk goes to Mecca and they find out that he's a Rashad Khalifa boy, they will stab him to death on the streets of Mecca. I kid you not. If he goes to Pakistan, they will stab him to death on the streets of Pakistan. You want me to waste my time with such a person? Uh, Wingfish, Wingfish, uh, you don't, uh, you, you don't like what we do. You are calling us mushrikeen. Yeah, mushrik, Wingfish. Let me show you the shirk in the Quran. Guys, he's, he's calling me and call all of you shirk, mushrikeen, right? He's calling our mushrikeen. Let me show him the shirk in the Quran, guys. Since you brought it up, you have to deal with the shirk in the Quran, Abdul. Thank you for bringing up that topic. Thank you. Thank you. Chapter 48, guys. I and 9. Since you brought the shirk up, you are calling us mushrikeen. Let me show you that you are the real mushrik. And let me show you that you are the real Muhammadan mushrik. You are a worshipper of Muhammad. Here, right here, right now. Um... Do we have uh, Arabic speakers still with us, guys? Do we have any Arabic speaker except this kid? Where are the Arabic speakers? Give me one. <clears throat> Chapter 48, guys. That you, mankind, may believe in Allah, and his messenger, okay. لِتُؤْمُنُ بِاللَّهِ وَرَسُولِهِ You have to believe in Allah and his Rasul, okay. And you have to assist him in battle. وَتُعَزِّرُهُ وَتُوَقِّرُهُ Honor him, who? The Rasul. Because he's the last mentioned person in the ayah. And according to Arabic grammar rules, the last person mentioned all the rest of the words that come after the last person, in this case Muhammad, 
all of the words after him are addressed for him and him alone. I didn't invent the grammar rules, guys. When I went to school in the Middle East, that's what they have taught me. So, you have to assist who? Muhammad in battle. You have to honor and respect him. And you have to do tasbih, which is glorification. So you have to glorify tasbih. When you ask a Muslim, what is tasbih? They will say it's an act of, sure, uh, act of worship. So you have to do tasbih for the Rasul every morning and evening. So Mr. Wink or whatever your name is, you are a worshiper of Muhammad. Who is the mushrik now? Ya Mushrik, Ya son of Mushrik. So you have to glorify Muhammad. It goes back to the Rasul, right? It goes back to the Messenger. So this is the Shirk right here, right now. This is why we call him Muhammadans. Uh, so, guys, we have scammers. Seven, this guy here. He's a brother in Christ. He's an Arabic speaking brother in Christ, like me. This guy here. And he says, he confirms, let me copy the entire message. He confirms what I say. So we have two Arabic speaking Christians who confirm is to do glorification, tasbih for Muhammad. Do you see it? Do you see it? So who is the mushrik? Yeah, mushrik, son of mushrik. So the scammers seven is saying that's 100% right, Rob. Thank you for the confirmation, my friend. Thank you. So two Arabic speakers confirm the shirk for Muhammad. So you have to not only worship Allah, but you have to worship the Rasul too. You have to glorify the Rasul. That's an act of worship. Tasbih, guys, is an act of worship. Thank you, Paco, too. We have a third Arabic speaker in the shape of Paco the Knight. He's an Arabic speaker, too. He just confirmed what we just taught you. Do you see it? I confirm, he says. So we have not one, we have not two, but we have three speakers who confirm. The shirk. This is why we call you Muhammad, Muhammadans, Ya Muhammadan, Ya Muhammadan, why are you worshipping Muhammad? Yeah, Muhammad is equal with Allah, Lily. Muhammad is equal with Allah according to this ayah. What is this surah? This is chapter 48, do you see it? Chapter 48, ayah 9. Chapter 48, let me make it smaller. This is chapter 48, ayah 9. You see it? Let me give you the link. Guys, let me give you the link. Save it, bookmark it. Bookmark, guys, make bookmarks. Like me, look, I'm making a lot of bookmarks to use them in my debates, in my teachings. Do that too. Bookmark it, save it, do what you have to do. Use this. So again, for the people who just came in, why is this shirk in this ayah? Why? Why is this shirk? Because according to grammar, Arabic grammar rules, when you have a sentence like this, when you have a sentence like this in the Arabic, the last mentioned person, in this case the Rasul, the messenger, he's the last guy, right, mentioned? Do you see it? All the words that come after the last person, so this entire sentence, all these words go back to the messenger because he's the last person. I didn't invent the grammar Arabic rules. 
the Arabic grammar rules. So, according to this ayah, you have to glorify Muhammad every morning and evening. Bam! Shirk 101. Shirk in the Quran 101. So it's not enough to worship Allah, the moon idol. You have to also worship his messenger, Muhammad. Guys, uh, FYI, FYI, for your information, Phil Herrera always posts the links of our teaching in the comment section, right? He always posts the links of our te teachings in the comment section under the description box. So make sure if you want to get all the links that we use today in our te teachings, you can find them after the, the video has been processed because the videos, the live shows, it needs YouTube itself, YouTube itself needs, at, let's say at, at least one hour to process the live chat, to process the entire video. So you need to wait one hour, then you will get all the information later. You can see the live chat, you can see the comments, right? And Phil Herrera mostly in 24 hours, he posts the links. <clears throat> Great, brother. So keep our admins, guys, in your prayers. Pray for us, the warriors. So we can stay healthy to keep teaching you about the true face of Islam. To teach you about nasty topics. Yeah, I know it's nasty. I know, guys. I know. What can we do? This is Islam. We have to expose Islam. Do we have any Muslim? Maybe we have a Christian who wants to call? Before we wrap this up. Yeah, as you notice, guys, for the people who know, we had to split today's live show in two parts. For some reason, YouTube took the part one down, right? Uh, YouTube decided to kill my live show. But we came back. <laughs> ten, ten minutes later, we came back in part two of today's live show, right? And you start. Do you have any imam? My Skype ID is the Rob Christian. Do you have maybe a Christian who wants to call? If you don't call, guys, don't don't say Rob Christian is not allowing Christians to call. Don't say that anymore. <laughs> I'm giving you the opportunity here, right guys? So if you want to share something with us, go ahead, call me. <laughs> Are there any questions maybe before we wrap this up? Are there any questions in the chat? Yes, a scammer seven is just confirmed again. In the Arabic rules, the language, the last person mentioned in the next verse, go back to him. Thank you for the confirmation again, my friend. So the last person mentioned in an Arabic sentence like this, the last person, all the words that come after, go back to the last person. So in this case, tasbih, glorification, is for the last person, Muhammad. So you have to glorify Muhammad. That's an act of worship. Tasbih, act of worship. Islam is finished. Yes, finished, finished, finished. Speaking from Kif, Hira, Hira. Why do you worship Muhammad? Muhammad, ya Muhammadans, Muhammadans, Muhammadans. Guys, don't forget to subscribe. Smash that like button. 
Share our YouTube channel, guys, with everybody. Share our YouTube channel with your friends. Because if you like our teaching, guys, if you like our teaching and you want us to reach many people, don't be lazy, Christians. I'm talking to the Christians. Don't be lazy, please. Share our YouTube channel with friends, with Muslims, on social media. Make sure that the message goes out. This is my YouTube channel, guys. Do you have any Muslim before we go? Do you have any Muslim? By the way, don't forget to also subscribe to my Twitter. Don't forget to subscribe to my Twitter. My Twitter account is the real RC. I just made a new Twitter account, you know. To, you know, I'm not really going to use it much, but I will use it only for notification. So when we go live, so that you will get a message that I'm going to go live or maybe upload a video. Someone is sending me message through Skype. What I see. Hi, Rob. God bless you, brother. Well, God bless you too, sister. God bless you too. Anyone who wants to call me before we go? A Christian or a Muslim? Yeah, I'm also on Facebook. I'm on Facebook. Mima Hijab is saying, why are you doing with us? Islam is satanic, makes us sick. Why don't we talk about the Holy Bible? Well, Amimi Hijab, sometimes we do. Sometimes we do. But today we did not. But if you want to really get good teaching about the Bible, please go watch Sam Shamoon. Sam Shamoon is almost every day live on his YouTube channel. He can do teach about Christianity much better than I do. He's much better than I do. Someone sent me a message asking, does Allah pray? Yes, Allah prays. Allah and the angels pray on Muhammad. In Allah wa malaikatuhu yusalluna ala nabi. Allah and his angels pray on the Prophet. That's in the Quran, by the way. <clears throat> Let me show you guys. <clears throat> Are you with me guys? Are you still with me? I hope you are still with me. I know we are asking a lot from you. We spent a lot of hours on YouTube, but the truth must go out. I mean, if you read the Quran, maybe you will not understand it, right? You don't understand the Hadith maybe, but here we are showing you what kind of evil cult Islam is, right? We are showing you the truth, the real face of Islam. So if you like it, stay with us. But we cannot force you to get bored. Right? So, this is what it is. You see it? Chapter 33, Ayah 56. Now, the translation will call it blessing. Do you see it? But that's not what the Arabic says. It says, Inna... 
Allah wal malaikatu wa malaikatuhu yusalluna pray salah prayer so the, this is a verb they are praying ala an nabi al nabiya right so they are praying on the prophet in allah wa malaikatuhu yusalluna ala an nabiya on nabi sorry nabi Chapter 33, Ayah 56. Do you see it? But these people need to use taqiyya, call it blessing. No, blessing, guys, this word, this word, if we go to Prophet Google, Let me switch it to Arabic. Why is it giving me this? Uh, let me let me do it differently. Wait. Uh, let me get the real words itself. Put it here instead. Switch it to English. Do you see what it says? I mean, don't shoot the messenger. Don't shoot the messenger, guys. Do you see it? Do you see it? And blessing, guys, the word blessing on itself is barakah. So this verb that is being used in the Quran, so it says, it should say this. Lo, Allah and his angels pray on the Prophet. Ala means on. Mimi Hijab said, Allah prays for, not to. No, Mimi Hijab, you filthy liar. Ala is not for, it's not to, it's on. So it says, Allah and his angels pray on the prophet did you catch it did you catch it and you want us to go easy on these people this lady she sent me as we showed you earlier guys this dutch lady i had to use translation and she says why are you so you know Go easy and uh, change your style. You want me to change my style? You want me to go political correct on Islam? <laughs> if, you, if you don't like, guys, if you don't like our teaching, stay away, please. We are not going to be political correct and please anyone's ears. We are not that kind of people. You don't like it? Just go. It is what it is. You have to accept it. If you want to continue learning from us about Islam, you have to deal with the fact that we will not change for anyone. I'm not going to change for uh, myself. For who? For you? Why? Because you want me to change? We are not going to be political correct about the teaching of Islam. About the incest of Islam. Right? As the Sheikh today said. Guys, if you missed what the Sheikh said in the recording, we played the recording. You need, really, you really need to rewatch today's live show in part two. This is part two of the live show. Because YouTube decided to take part one down. So we came back stronger than ever, <laughs> without being politically correct, to expose the sick incest the sick teaching of Islam, incest with your own daughter, according to Sheikh, how he explains it. You want me to use censorship, as David says in the chat? No way, man. We will come back harder than before. We will not accept any lies. We will not accept any taqiyya. And certainly we are not going to change our style. 
deal with it. Never. Exactly, Georgia. Never. Truth must go out. For the Christians, for the coward Christians, yes, I'm addressing you, you coward Christians, you political correct Christians. Was Jesus political correct with the Pharisee leaders, with the Sanhedrin? Did Jesus call him, call them, you, you brother vipers, you vipers? Did Jesus insult them? Yes or no? Did Jesus call them vipers? Brother vipers? Was, should, should we ask Jesus to be political correct? Don't be a hypocrite, Christians. This is Christianity. Jesus told us to rebuke false prophets like Muhammad, to rebuke false teachers like this nasty person here that you see here who is teaching about incest in Islam. It's okay to have sex with your own daughter because technically she's not your daughter if she's conceived out of legal Sharia marriage. If she's conceived through fornication or adultery. Right, Muslims? Sex with your own daughter? Yes. That's what Islam teaches. This is from chapter 25, ayah 52. If you go to the tafsir, chapter 25, ayah 52, the tafsir for that ayah explains, and he's actually getting this from chapter 25, ayah 52. He's not getting it. He's not fabricating it, guys. The sheikh is not fabricating it. For the people who just joined, maybe you know Arabic. Maybe you know Arabic. Let me play a small part of the video. Zina. In the way of Shafi'i, he said that the sin of the sin is not permitted. The sin of the sin is not permitted. The Jews, guys, the Jews, of zina, zina means fornication, adultery, it's not haram for you as a man. So the, the, your seed, who, you know, your child, your daughter, that is basically the product of zina, the product of fornication, is halal for you, because technically she's your, not your daughter. That's what the sheikh is explaining. بامرأة وحملت منه يقول لك إن هذا الماء غير محرم يعني إيه غير محرم يعني دي مش بنته يعني إيه يعني إيه what do you mean that means she is not your technically not your daughter she is not your daughter so you can offer يعني إيه برضو مش فاهم يا عم الشيخ يعني هل يقول له نك what do you mean again he's saying you know what do you mean oh شيخ so he's pretending to be the one of the listeners. So he's asking himself basically, right? What do you mean? Yeah, it's okay. Yes, it's okay. Let her do nikah with her. Let her effort, you know, let her marry him. It's okay. Marry your own daughter and do nikah with her. Do sex with her. <laughs> but, uh, oh, Sheikh, 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 she's his daughter. What are you talking about? Who told you that she's his daughter? Who told you, says the Sheikh, she's his daughter? <laughs> she is legally not his daughter. Nothing. She's nothing. She's a stranger to him. Your own daughter becomes a stranger to you if you get her from fornication. Are you telling me? The Sheikh is saying, are you telling me? Are you trying to explain to me when that daughter, or basically the child, she is not his child, he cannot carry his last name, basically. She cannot carry his last name. Because technically, she is not his daughter. <laughs> so it's okay to have sex with your own daughter. Because technically, she is not your daughter. So she's your daughter, but she's not your daughter. Guys, did you catch it? She's your daughter, but at the same time, she's not your daughter. Islamic logic 101. No, never. Never. She's not his daughter. Never. 
يبى يجوزها لك يجوزها عادي. So she can you know marry her an effer? Yes, it's okay. عادي normal normal. He says it's normal. يجوزها عادي. طبعا هذه زلة عظيمة. Any Muslim who wants to defend this sick cult, any Muslim who wants to defend this sick cult, call me right here, right now. We are live. Be a man. Boy, don't be a boy. Be a man. Call me. Right here, right now. Anyone know who's the shit? I don't know his, uh, then his name. I don't care. I don't care about his name. But he is a PhD Sheikh from Al Azhar. So he's a, an Al Azhari Sheikh. Let me give you the link, guys. If you are interested, if you want to translate it, if you want to translate it, here's the link. If you know Arabic, translate it. The Scammer 7, if you know Arabic, you need to translate this video, bro. Translate it to English. We just gave you the link. Let me give you the link again. <clears throat> you can find it in the live chat. The link is yours. Translate it, save it, do whatever you need to do. Spread the word. Yes, so this is what being taught. Yes, that's what taught we what is being taught. Where do they get it from, guys? Chapter 25, Ayah 54. Oh, sorry, sorry, my mistake. Chapter 25, Ayah 54. But if you read it like this without tafsir, you will not understand what's happening. It says, and he, it, and he, it is who had created man from water and had appointed for him kindred by blood and kindred by marriage. For thy Lord is ever powerful. You need tafsir. Oh, let me switch the screen, guys. Sorry. So you need tafsir for the ayah to understand it. You will not understand anything. This is blah, 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 gibberish. So you need tafsir like Al-Qurtubi, like how the Sheikh is explaining it, right? How the Sheikh explained it to understand. What the Sheikh is saying here, he got it Straight from chapter 25, ayah 54. For example, if you are interested, you can go find it in Al Qurtubi's tafsir. And don't tell me the Sheikh is lying. <laughs> don't, don't use taqiyah with me and tell me that the Sheikh is lying. This guy knows Islam better than you, Muslims. This guy is a scholar, he is a PhD Al Azhari Sheikh, the number one university for Islam. The number one university for Islam. He knows what he's talking about. He knows Islam better than you. Do you have any Muslims? Yes, uh, Phil Herrera guys just posted the tafsir of Al Qurtubi that explains how the Sheikh brought it up. Why the Sheikh has brought it up? Because it's halal to have sex with your own daughter according to the tafsir of Al-Qurtubi. So we have the Sheikh and we have Al-Qurtubi explaining it. Any Muslim Sheikh, any Ustaz, no Ustaz. Well guys, it is what it is. It is what it is. Thank you for watching guys. Thank you for watching. God bless you. God bless your families. Stay away from Islam. Muslims, if you are sincere after today's teaching, you need to denounce Muhammad. Muhammad is a fake prophet. He's an evil man. He taught you evil things. Your shiyukh are nothing but deceivers. They are nothing but liars. They keep this man-made cult alive. And you are nothing but victims of this man-made cult. You are nothing but victims of this man-made cult. Women in Islam 
are nothing but victims. They are compared with cows. They are equal of, with cows, horses and camels. Why do you want to stay as a Muslim lady in this man-made cult? Why do you accept it that Muhammad and someone like Al-Qurtubi, the Mufassir, who is calling you a cow, an animal? Why do you accept that about yourself? You're nothing but a victim of a man-made cult for men. And remember what Aisha said, guys? Remember what Aisha said? Ma ara rabbuka illa yusara fiha wa ya Muhammad. I see, says Aisha, quote unquote, I see that your Lord hastens to fulfill your desires, i.e. your sexual desires, Muhammad. Right? Allah created the Muslim ladies to be ridden like cows, like horses, only for producing babies. Where is the love for Muslim women in Islam? Where is the love? Where is the love? Where is love? Baby, don't hurt me. Baby, don't hurt me no more. What is love in Islam? Right, Muslims? Thank you for watching, guys. God bless you. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your donations. Jesus is Lord. Islam is false. Muhammad is a fake prophet. Please come back home. Please come back home. Come back home to our Lord and Savior. You need Jesus. I need Jesus. Everybody here needs Jesus. Stay away from Islam. Be blessed in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Accept Him. And every knee will bow and proclaim that Jesus is Lord. Thank you for watching, guys. God bless you. God bless your families. See you, Lord willingly, in a future life show. God bless.